Hey, it's Russ Payne with Role Playing Public Radio. We're playing Coin Tract Island, a survival horror uh, fate core uh, campaign. And in the uh, previous episode, uh, the uh, our intrepid heroes, Felicia, Ava, and Indy, uh, retrieve the heavy transport vehicle from the office park, from the build chain office complex, and uh, return to the power plant. Now they found out that the uh, IT director's secret plan is, uh, as he revealed, he needed the transport vehicle uh, to transport the Hydra. Uh, and he needs Ava's help to control the Hydra, a bioelectric generating chimeric uh, giant monster thing. Um, but apparently there's a way to cybernetically interface with it. And, uh, that, that's what Ava has to do. Uh, well, that's what, uh, he, he assumes Ava wants to do. Uh, so as we begin the session, our, our heroes are resting, recovering from their very chaotic day. And, uh, yeah, we'll actually begin, uh, with Felicia because you get a phone call, uh, and it is from Vanessa. Uh, who you remember? I love getting phone calls. Yep, that was Dr. Chaos's uh, assistant, who you've met a couple times, and uh, yeah, so you answer the phone, she's like, hello, uh, Felicia, you there? Um, yeah? Hi. Uh, well, you know, uh, through the grapevine, we heard that you had a busy day today, a big day. Um, and then in the distance, you can hear, put her on speakerphone. And, uh, uh... Sure, uh, and that uh, you're on speakerphone with me and, and Dr. Uh, Oz, and you hear Dr. Oz. And she's like, "Hello, Felicia. I'm so glad to to know that you're you're doing well in this rather difficult environment. How are you? Yeah, it's been a trying time for everybody. Um, where have you been? Well, um, we've been busy too. This is a, actually a fairly large island." And uh, we have been doing some planning now uh, before what we I, I should tell you what we've heard is that uh, the three of you were spotted at the build chain building and that you went in that building, even though it was you know locked down and, and seemingly very dangerous. Uh, and then you came out uh, with the heavy transport vehicle. Uh, the largest uh, vehicle on the island. And uh, you, you, you drove it back to the power plant. Uh, is, is that right? Is that, is that what happened? Um, I guess maybe, I don't know. I am barely conscious for half of this. Oh, okay. Well, um, here's, here's the thing. We can't, you know, this is a secure line that we're talking to. You know, this is an encrypted, uh, uh, call, but, uh, you know, you're alone, right? No one, no one's around. No one's, no one's listening to you. Right. Well, yeah, sure. Well, so we want to help you, and we think you can help us, but uh, we don't know exactly what your what your plans are. What do you are you comfortable? To, uh, would you be comfortable telling us why you acquired that transport vehicle? Is that, or is that too much? I don't want to. Oh yeah, there was a dude in there, and he was crazy. And um, he like went off about his mom or something, and then he tried to poison us. And there was snakes, things, and a paintball gun. And um, I think mm -hmm. we learned about ghosts. Uh, and anyway, we ended up with the uh, with the um, with the truck. Yeah, the yeah. So what are you, what are you planning to do with the the vehicle? Um, probably try to take over the island. Why did you need it for something? Well, ah, uh, okay. So um, it sounds like the IT director is wanting to launch uh, an assault on the tower. And, uh, uh, and you don't have to say anything. You know, this is just my type. But um, I'm just saying that hypothetically speaking, during that assault, there would be people would be focused on that. And no one would be really noticing, say, a group of very skilled people entering into uh, another area uh, under the tower. And uh, there would be something very valuable down there that we could uh, acquire. Um, Vanessa jumps in and, and says, yeah, so, so if you can just provide that distraction, we'd be very grateful. Um, 
and doc, uh, but Dr. Oz cuts her off. So, it, but yes, um, the, launching the distraction would be good, but we would like you to join us. Uh, and then, I mean, it, it, there's certain details I don't want to reveal on any, so I, I want to reveal face to face. Um, but, uh, we, 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 I think you would be really useful to us and your friends too. If you vouch for them, I'm sure they would be great assets for us because, uh, you know, this is sort of an all hands on deck kind of situation and we could just really use your help. But if you could, you know, provide a big distraction at first and then meet us, we could give you some coordinates that you could meet us at, and then we could go and do something very, very, very interesting. And I think, uh, yeah, it'd be great to see you in person again, too. Oh, no. Well, um, think it over. Um, do you have any questions for me? I mean, there's certain things I can't reveal, of course, but... Um, yeah, um, so it's a little weird that you're the only group of people that's not trying to take over the island, because the board of directors is also trying to re- take the island you know the twins mm-hmm. oh yes yes quite well actually yeah and then also there's a bunch of like um like cultists that like huffed a bunch of mushrooms or something um, we took out like their elk thing but like there might be more of them mm-hmm. and like ferrets and stuff so basically what i want to know is why are you the only people not interested in taking over the island well that's a really good question um and uh, let's just say I have a greater vision than controlling a single island. Uh, but there's something I do need, and it is below the tower. And uh, I think you would be very important in securing that for me. And then you can, I would be happy to share my vision with you in person. Um, but we, we really do need that distraction, because... Um, the, the, there are a lot of defenses at the tower, and uh, we if they're all focused on, I don't know, say some sort of experimental chimera uh, that requires the heavy transport vehicle to to well transport, um, that would be uh, very beneficial to us. But yes, yeah, I, I have a vision that goes beyond the island. Uh, does that, does that help? All right, I'll uh, think about it. Just you, make sure you uh, you answer my number if I call. Oh, of course, of course. Here's here's my number. This is Vanessa's number. Here's my personal, my new phone number. Um, you you can message me or tech call me at any time. I'll be sure to answer. You read your phone number, uh, and you can roll empathy. I get a seven. Okay. Uh, that beats their five. Uh, so, uh, for one thing, you you can tell with uh, Vanessa sort of interruption that Vanessa definitely does not want you to be Vanessa would be really glad if I you knew it. Yeah, uh uh would be very glad if you just uh you know got caught a stray bullet or something like that, you know. Um so Vanessa's seething, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Vanessa's be seething over Felicia chats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Felicia chats. So, um, but yeah, Dr. Um, you're, you're guessing that Dr. Oss, um, well, what could be so valuable that, I mean, the, the island is valuable for a lot of reasons and controlling the island is worth a lot of reasons, but what would be valuable that you could take away from the island? Like part of the reason why the island is so valuable is because there's no one, there's no government regulators, there's no, um, any activists here uh you can do whatever kind of science you want and no one's gonna know or care but obviously if you leave the island well you gotta either have yeah so what what would be valuable that you could take away from the island that would be worth this incredible risk of trying to pull off a heist during a fucking battle so that's sort of the 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 thing that you realize so um yeah, Dr. Oz is obviously planning to steal something and then fleeing the island. Uh, so you get a, you, some idea uh, of that. So, yeah. Is there anything else? Uh, but it, it's also hard for you to read like Dr. Oz over the phone. She's uh, I can't. I, I'm sure I don't know the exact thing she's trying to steal, but I'm sure it's like the way to make Chimera or like something like that. Like the whole point of the island. 
that would be a very good thing to steal. That would be worth billions. And um, it's it's something on the same lines for sure. Yeah. Like it's like when, whatever she takes, it's going to make the rest of everything worthless. Yeah, that would that would be that would. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, uh, so, yeah. Is there anything else you want to say to Dr. Oz? Uh, no, I think I'll just be very cordial. Mm-hmm. Well, and then uh, and then hang up. Be okay. like, all right, kisses. I hope that you're getting your coffee. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Uh, she yeah does give you text you a set of coordinates uh, for a rendezvous. Uh, after uh, there will be people there to to meet you there after you launch the distraction. Um, so they they apparently are on standby waiting for this. So meanwhile, Indy. Um, yeah, you, you have your own sort of like private section of the, uh, building that's been turned into a barracks for the, the makeshift guards and it, uh, people here defending this power plant. Um, so it's kind of nice to have your own private room, at least for a night. Uh, but you also, there, there's a, a quartermaster with a little, you know, there's, there's a couple ad zombies running, you know, slithering around with, a uh, treats, uh, people milling about, um, yeah, what do you want to do in your downtime? Or what are you doing in your downtime? Uh, probably running a game of poker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's empathy to play play it straight, to read people. Um, play I, it straight? Yeah, I... I am absolutely not, not cheating. All right, well, that's deceive, obviously. So go ahead and give me a deceive check. All right. And these are new people, so you can use that uh, stunt. That's like a six still. All right. Yeah, that beats. <laughs> yeah, that beats her three. Uh, so, yeah, you're cleaning up. Bunch of amateurs, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, you're doing quite well. Um, so you can. Uh, but uh, yeah, you're, you're just having a good time. So uh, you could just keep on there. Grind, you know, basically grinding for money. Uh, but if you want to try and get, get gossip or rumors or anything. I do. Okay. I want to say, why don't we up the ante a little bit? We all got money to spare with the island falling apart. But uh, what about information? Anybody want to ante up something they think's worth a uh, little more than the chips we're tossing around here? Uh, so, all right. Are you targeting like you, you, you see there's some mercenaries with you. There's some IT people with you. Uh, and there's some shady people. You're not quite sure what their deal is. Um, you can try and kind of target one of them to try and get them to ante up. But um, so what kind of information are you looking for? Like from what kind of person? I'm trying to suss out if uh, our dear IT director might have any plans that would run contrary to our well-being. OK, um, yeah, there's some shady people uh, that seem to be part of the IT director's inner circle um, or Part, maybe not the inner inner circle, but like part of that, you know, the executive branch, if you will. Um, yeah. So this will be another opposed deceive uh, empathy check. This guy, this player does have a plus four to their skill, though. They so that's like going sh- to be. Yeah, I get a five. Yeah. Versus a uh, two. Great. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, turns out <laughs> you're really fucking good at poker. All right. Uh, yeah, you put up the watch at that point, uh, and that was too irresistible. You see this shit? This yeah. is fucking uh, Superman watch right here. It's That's a Black Panther watch. watch. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's like I I know where that watch came from, and I know how much that's worth. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll uh, here. I'll put on this um, tablet and uh, with a password on it, uh, taped with a zip uh, post-it note. What you do with that, I, well, I mean, that's just what I bet on poker. So, um, yeah. Uh, how's that? So that's what you get as a tablet that he just has plausible deniability. Um, so he doesn't say anything, but um, you look through the tablet uh, and it has like an outline of the assault plan. Uh, it's like a complex combined arms assault uh, using uh, the... Uh, uh, Hydra as basically um, s- a bullet sponge. Like they're just going to point that thing, drop it at the front gate and just hope that they're going to be panic and throw everything they have at it. Meanwhile, the mercenaries with some heavy weapons uh, are going to flank around and start shooting and that kind of thing. Um, so you can give me um, an investigate 
skill or uh let's see what would you i take this to ava yeah i think i think ava's better at that that like okay that yeah. turning this into useful information yeah it's tech mm-hmm. yeah hey so ava yeah check this fucking thing out i got us a cd little laptop to take a peek in oh sick okay um what do you want me to do to look through it um, you can use crafts to see if there's any secret files on it. Crafts or burglary? Uh, no, it's unlocked. You have the password, so it's crafts. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's all four. Okay, yeah. Um, there are a couple of chat logs and things, um, that you can look through. Uh, that, that, that were, like, temporary files, but you retrieve them, um, Mm-hmm. And because, uh, you know, these tablets don't actually shut off. They're just put in sleep mode. So the, the RAM doesn't reset uh, as often as they it should. You yeah, have for developer oversight mm-hmm. and all that junk. So, um, yeah. Uh, uh, so you find these chat logs and uh, it, it it seems pretty like they don't really give a shit about you, per se. They'll, they'll, they're uh, they're they're holding a lot of contracts. um but they they figure uh, you the relevant chat log that you find is uh, if we can get these uh, uh, you know freelancers to drive the thing forward uh, you know here's what they're worth here's here's our payoff size um, okay yeah sure great fine um, you're kind of just like um, so their plan is to give you a big like it's a like in the eight digit range for all of you for all three of you. Um, but actually all four of you, because they think Claire's one of you, like, you know, uh, mm-hmm. and then to see you. That uh, is. Yeah. Uh, and then to see you on your way, you'll you'll just be put on the evac boat with the rest of them. They want they want the control suit back. They want, you know, all the weapons back, but they want to pay you and just they want to bribe you and make and keep you. You know, they don't want to kill you. They want to bribe you. They mm. think that's easier because they're going to be getting. Uh, they have access to billions, uh, apparently. Whoever the coup is financing the coup has, you know, a billion dollar checkbook. Uh, and so the people who make are the 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 ones that push it to, you know, over the over the edge, you know, onto their side. Uh, well, that's worth 40, 50 million dollars. Sure. Fuck it. Who cares? Because mm-hmm. um, they say, well, it doesn't even enter their heads to kill you. They're they're business people at, at heart. So. Uh, they don't give a shit about you. They they just you're just another business. Experience. Yeah. So yeah, I will I will relay this impression. But these They're are fucking cheating us. <laughs> 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 Certainly. Mm-hmm. Although that's not that surprising, right? Yeah. Here's your check. Get the fuck out, basically. Um, or yep. here, here's what well, not. Here's your, you know, Swiss bank account number. Get the fuck out. Um, and yeah i've done contract work before <laughs> yeah exactly so um yeah that that's that's what they they want to do um the but of course that's not the it directors you know he wouldn't necessarily reveal that he wants to kill you if he if he was going to do that he wouldn't necessarily tell underling so like this is this is the mid high level management not necessarily the ceo point of view so <laughs> yeah the uh but also uh ava you get a phone call and you recognize the number uh it is lycoside which was that uh necrobiotic goblin you talked to yeah i'll pick that up hey hello yes yes, yes. hello ah ava how are you mm-hmm. uh a little stressed but what else is new ah stress stress yes yes yeah very good yes i'm also stressed yes um <laughs> Lots of uh, lots of things happening today. Um, build chain yeah, so on much. fire. Big building on fire. Lots of uh, many, many goblins not wor- worried about that. Uh, but other things, uh, they see you. They see you leave building and building on fire. Building not demolished. Fire suppression system work. But still, not good. Uh, but that, that not, not, not why I call you. Um, the, uh, the leftover uh, moving forces towards uh, power plant. Is that something you know about? Is that is uh, that bad? Is some what's happening? That's not something I know about. That is probably bad. Okay. Yes. Uh, I appreciate the heads up. Do you know anything else? Um. Well, 
we we uh, uh all the goblins realize maybe all the uh, the 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 killing people and taking their stuff may have made them unpopular um hmm. and uh i'm it turns out to be the only goblin to actually talk to people um and i talk to you so we're friends right yeah yeah absolutely great so um we need more friends so uh how do we do that um uh, hmm facebook it's generally facebook um, how do we get friends that won't want us to be killed? Oh, uh, uh, you got to be useful. Useful. Yes, we can be. Yes, yes. We're very useful. Many legs, many limbs. Yes. What What do we do? If you can delay the leftover, uh, that would be amazing. Uh, if not, um, just kind of helping out with well, that. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fighting tomorrow, like a lot of fighting. Can, okay, well, let me. What, what, what can we get from that? I don't know. Oh. Uh, I can talk to my boss. Yes, yes, boss, boss. Yes. All right. All right. So uh, the three of you be, are now sort of synced up timeline wise. So uh, mm-hmm. a lot of important phone calls uh, happening at the same time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Felicia, you just kind of wander in as, as that conversation's fin- finishing up. Yeah. So you can you three can figure out what you're going to do next. Uh, by the way, Claire is just taking a nap. She's she's had a big day. She's exhausted. So. Yeah, that's understandable. Mm-hmm. Hey, girls. Uh, so what do we want to do? <laughs> yeah, so we got a lot on the table right now. Uh, so the shit's about to hit the fan all across the island, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't really know if I want to stick around for that. No. The, uh we still got to get our fucking our payout from dear old uh, whatever the fuck his name is. Your guy. The director? Yeah, Winston. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, so we got any other payout, fucking... Man. Do we got any other fucking payout opportunities on the table? We got the twins. We got Winston. We got... Um, my boss called me, actually. Your boss? Yeah, um, she's trying to steal something that's, like, gonna be worth more than, like, this whole, like, island fighting over control thing. Well, okay. Why'd she call you about it? Apparently I'm instrumental in the whole thing, don't worry about it. Anyway, so what I'm thinking is, since we already have that leverage over, like, half of her team from earlier... We could just steal this the stealing up from under how does that how does that work? It's it's like you put one steal on top of the other steal and then you Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a double yeah. cross. Yeah, it's like blocks. You put blocks together and then you, you go through the chain of activation. Right, yeah. It's like mm-hmm. uh the double entendre, I think it's called. Yeah, like a blockchain. Yeah. Yeah, blockchain. Yeah. I get it now. They're stealing things. That's why it's called a blockchain. <laughs> exactly. You might be a genius. <laughs> Thank you. So how the fuck are we going to steal this from your, your boss? Because it sounds like um, Ava's going to be, you know, in the soup or whatever. Well, we could always use Ava's soup. <laughs> how, are gonna, how are we going to use Ava's soup? I don't. I don't know. Uh, Ava, you could roll academics. Uh, lore. Uh, lore. Yeah, sorry. All right, that's a five. Okay. So, um, you haven't seen, you haven't used the inter- control suit yet, but like, you know enough about cybernetic technology that you could, um, once you once that Hydra gets going, you could once it starts fighting things, it's it. You could probably unplug. And in instincts are just going to make it want to kill anything that's hurting it. So, like, once the fight gets started, once you point in the right direction, you're probably going to be okay uh, to to like sneak out. Uh, of course, you'll because you'll be further back in in a control booth, you know, kind of thing in the vehicle. Actually, you'll be in the transport vehicle. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so you 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 once you start piloting, you don't have to. Stay with it to the bitter end. You could sneak out in the middle. That's possible. So, and certainly your friends could help you uh, escape from that. So you could sneak out during the chaos of the fight. Um, now. Yeah. Theoretically, we don't want this thing unleashed everywhere, right? 
Well, remember the director also said he had pesticide to kill it once the, okay. uh, it was u- done. So presumably he would do that once it if it went berserk anyway. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's that's reasonable. I'm sure I'm sure nothing will go wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as you are all say at once. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So you have so, you know, you it is available to you to like not to start the fight, but you don't have to commit to it the whole time. Like, um, I'm just saying that as an option. But yeah. But as a yeah, so uh, it's, to me, it sounds like we're going to be cutting out the middleman. Do we got a price point on what your doctor boss is stealing or whatever her name is? Felicia, you in there? Um, all I know is it's worth more than the whole island. So, like, highest bidder sounds like. What's your? I guess if we're stealing it from her, it doesn't matter what your cut's going to be because you're going to get a hundred percent. I think we could sell it to literally anybody. I think people will be looking for us to sell it. Or we could hold on to it. I don't know what we bet. I don't know what it is. I just know it's really important. <laughs> Would we know it when we saw it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, all right, then. Why don't we say, uh, hold on, is this room bugged? Ava, are you bugged? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to check. All right. Uh, can I use, can I use burglary for that to detect signals? Sure. Do you want a fate point or do you want to spend a fate point? Fuck. Uh, oh. I'll spend a fate point. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me, give me a roll. That's a six. Okay. Fortunately, one of your cybernetic implants is an anti-surveillance, uh, uh, you know, uh, signal jammer. Uh, designed to jam bugs and only bugs and it was working <sighs> so yeah that's why you didn't actively check it because you just have that on all the time uh yes. that's what the fake oh, points god yeah um so, okay yeah yeah so uh it's about this you girls uh you know huddle in real close and i'm gonna tell you how it's gonna go down all right ready all right so it sounds like if we steal what Dr. Voss is looking to steal. We're going to be fucking superseding all this whole twins and IT director and hey, book deals. Sounds like we're going to have the whole fucking cash cow to ourselves. I mean, that's what it sounds like. Why don't we go for that then? You know, disappear in the action, take the cash, hit the bricks. I, th- I think that's probably our best bet. Yeah. The vote three, three, four. I I think so. Claire votes how I vote because she's asleep and therefore snooze you lose. <laughs> uh, I'm a vote for, yeah. Okay. Uh, and as you say that, uh, in the distance, you can hear an explosion and then That'll another be the leftover. One. Great, great. Uh, the, the, uh, an air raid siren kicks in and that's when the gunfire starts opening up. Um, and yeah, just, there's just a, uh, now you're towards the back of the power plant. Um, and this is towards the front. Uh, so you're not in immediate harm, but, uh, all, uh, uh, Ava, your phone, uh, rings. It is the director. Yeah, boss. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, come to the, uh, hydro containing cell. We're going to have to do a test run of the, uh, suit now. Uh, all right, I'm on my way. Yep. All right. So, uh, Ava, you're running that way. That would be athletics to, uh, adroitly run, uh, across a, uh, well, there's a lot of chaos as soon as you step outside, people running everywhere, uh, machine guns lighting up, spotlights yeah. turning on, spotlights being shot out. Um, yeah, uh, you're not sure exactly who's attacking or where, because, you know, it's night, and it's pretty chaotic, but yeah, go and roll athletics, uh, so I was, yeah, go ahead. That's a two? All right, uh, that's enough at this point, you know, you don't have to worry about, uh, uh, getting, uh, you, you dodge some, uh, people that are just panicking at this point, um, and okay, some gunshots, you know, you can hear them, <laughs> Uh, uh, ring through the air by by your ears, uh, but nothing hits you. Um, so Ava's making a run straight for the Hydra tank um, holding facility. Uh, Felicia, what are you going to do? Um, 
I don't really know what I should do. Um, I guess I should probably like poke get into the 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 area where they're they're holding the the like the control room for for launching the the plant suit mm-hmm. thing and and see if I can poke around and, and find stuff that will help us later. Okay, sure. Yeah, you can you can follow Ava. Uh and uh Andy, are you also gonna tag along? Uh, I'm going to see if I can lift a, a pretty nice weapon from anywhere and then try and get a peek at what the fuck is going on. Okay. Um, now you can just spend a fate point and say you could have any kind of sort of handheld infantry weapon um, or you can make a roll of some kind to find something. So yeah, uh, I'll let you decide. Let's see here. So uh, I don't know. I don't know fucker shit about guns. Well, I so mean, you, you don't have to say specific type. You don't have to say like a model, of, but like a type. Do you want like a like a shotgun, a rifle, a flamethrower, a, a grenade launcher? Um, Probably a shotgun. That okay. that'll drop just about like most things given okay. enough time. All right, you find a uh, case. Uh, you open it up. Uh, there is a, a big gun in it. It is an AA twelve fully automatic shotgun uh, with uh, several big magazine and they have different colored shells uh and yeah do you have sh- uh, a shoot skill i do have a shoot skill well some of them so you know that some of them are buckshot uh, some of them are solid slugs uh and some of them are uh well explosive uh shotgun uh, shells so uh, hell yeah. yeah i pocket these babies yeah th- it is a big big two-handed weapon uh and you have a backpack full of shotgun shells so <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you are ready to rock and roll. So, uh, yeah, you can give me a notice check to see to assess what the fuck is going on in the battle. Two with a two, uh, you can see. Um, so you can see that someone is firing uh, grenades from the tree line. So uh, outside the fence, so from a great distance, kind of using like a some kind of grenade launcher as sort of like a almost like an indirect fire just arcing it high up enough that they comes down somewhere so there's not a lot of control so uh but someone has blown a hole in the fence uh the front gate um and uh you can see a big truck like a conventional truck and not like your transport vehicle but like uh, uh but it someone has welded a bunch of armor plates uh onto this truck and it is just barreling ahead at full speed uh and it smashes through the front gate um the defenders open up onto it um it it slides to the side it uh uh but uh yeah things start coming out of it uh the the back of the truck and yeah uh so that is the the initial uh uh, uh attack so far uh, so that's what you you see after you get your shotgun uh meanwhile ava and Felicia, oh Felicia, give me an athletics check. All right, I get a two. Okay. Also, you're fine. Nothing. No one stops you. Uh, no one gets in your way, and or you're able to avoid the obstacles and not take any damage, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, so the two of you get to the uh, Hydra f- holding facility. Uh, there's some personnel waiting for you to get in. They they quickly shut the gate uh, or the armored door um, and take you to the control room. Um, and, uh, the IT director is there along with a bunch of scientists, um, and they have the suit ready, already ready for you, uh, Ava. Um, I'll, I'll let you specify, uh, what, what does the control suit look like? Is it anime as fuck? Is it a plug suit? Plug suit, suit, plug suit, plug Uh, suit. (laughs) Fucking nerd. It's very important that it has a zipper in the front. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the zipper is in the front. Yeah, for, for obvious reasons. Yeah. Um. <laughs> all right. So as I'm getting changed into that, I'm gonna let the director know um, that there are a bunch of necrobiotic goblins that want to make themselves useful and get paid. What? Oh, that that's great. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 Jenkins. Uh. uh, uh, uh yeah, Felicia, do you have the, do you have their contact information? Uh, Jenkins, you you yeah. you, you run you, you coordinate with Felicia to get them on our side. Uh, we'll we'll promise them payment and um, uh, uh, obviously we'll protect them after we take the island, or uh, we we can relocate them or what, what you know whatever they want. Uh, it, I assume they probably just want you know someone 
to uh, be, well, you know, if they're on no one's side, they're definitely going to get shot. Uh, so, yeah, mm-hmm. we won't shoot them. That's our that's our pitch. We'll start from there. All right. Um, I'll pass along the contact information. All right. So, Felicia, this this, you know, functionary uh, woman uh, in, a, in a power suit uh, slides up to you and says, yes. Uh, uh, who, who is your contact with these, uh, this group? Um, what was the name of our contact again? Lycoside. Yeah. Like a CD. Oh yeah. Like a CD. He's a, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you probably want to promise a lot of food. They really like food. It's apparently really hard to get. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, we will, we will promise them. We, we've, uh, located a, uh, multiple pallets of potted meat. Um, I believe that will be, a, a, uh, but yes, we'll start uh, with there. Yes. Like in pots, like you grow meat here. Well, actually, we are we are starting to try that. Uh, you've heard of that meat, but we we think pots are better. So hmm. yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Ava, go ahead and give me a will uh, check because you're plugging in. Yep. Surely this will go great. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank God! Uh, I rolled a two, so that's three. All right. Uh, so yeah, you only take one uh, mental stress uh, because it is still uh, uh, oh man, this is uh, very alien. Uh, you can hear mm-hmm. uh, the director's voice. He says, so uh, we actually already had a cutting uh, ready to go. Uh, we were going to load it into the truck, uh, the vehicle in the morning, but we can get another cutting uh, from the main thing. It's it's very, very large, you see. Uh, what we do is we, we sort of uh, take a, a cybernetic interface module a little device uh and we just sort of plant it on the surface of the uh cutting and it just kind of absorbs it uh and Mm. uh then it starts interfacing with the um nervous system of the uh, chimera and that's what your suit connects to this module inside uh the, the the hydra cutting um the cutting is only you know a fraction of the size of the the actual full hydra um but it will grow mm-hmm. very fast so it will be a bit disconcerting but um so uh yeah you start powering up uh and start activating and oh god is it alien um because yeah your nervous systems are now linked um mm. and uh it is incredibly disconcerting uh it is just disorienting it is uh, uh weird um so, uh, but there is a little, uh, um, AI assistant, uh, that, you, so your, your vision just totally goes blank. Uh, your optic nerves are now being rerouted to the user interface of the suit. Um, Mm-mm. and, uh, avatar, AI assistant avatar customization. Would you like to customize the AI avatar? Uh, yes. What visual hey, appearance? Everybody, appear- war is canceled. I got to create my character. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh, I I was watching, I was watching Brisket play a game about like bullets or something. I don't know. There was this cute succubus maid who was stealing, stealing from the kitchen all the time. Cute succubus maid, kleptomaniac. Mm-hmm. Processing, processing. <laughs> uh, trending on art station. Um, tall, big hips, breasts. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is an AI generated succubus made. Uh, <laughs> That's awful. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It's adequate. It's, you know what? There's yeah. been enough su- succubus AI generated at the at fucking coin track that it probably looks perfect. Yeah, by by coin track standards, it's very good. Uh, and it appears in the corner of your eyes, kind of like a VTuber, but you know, in your eyes. Uh, mm-hmm. And it says, "Hi, what name should I have, Master?" I hate it. And I hate names. you. <laughs> Damn it. What? what? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm into like Ava's own thoughts being live streamed into her head. I think this is funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hang on. Okay. Fuck. The name generator is down. <laughs> uh, oh, damn it. Just, just call her some like, I don't know, like Yu Gi Oh! Winrar. <laughs> Winrar. <laughs> Wait, unregistered hypercam. Uh, so. <laughs> this is unregistered my hypercam. I... Cute. That's yeah. the name. Yeah. <laughs> this is my succubus maid OC. Unregistered hypercam too. <laughs> unregistered. Perfect. 
uh, unregistered hypercam to cute. Um, so, uh, yeah. Hi, master. I'm unregistered hypercam to cute. Um, I'm, I represent the software interface between your nervous system and the nervous system of the Hydra. Uh, I am not the Hydra, and it is important you understand that. Uh, I will, uh, mm-hmm. because a direct neural link between you and the Hydra is on a, is not advised for medical reasons. So, uh... That makes sense. For the first thing, uh, we I'm currently calibrating your nervous system so I can intuitively translate your nervous system thoughts and, uh... your 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 thoughts and feelings into the Hydra. Uh, so that you can control it on an intuitive level. Um, so uh, your vision will be a network of drone cams around the Hydra, as well as the hi- some limited sensory input from the Hydra. Uh, however, this is a... Uh, this. So it is important to understand that what you see is a software representation of multiple sensory inputs. Do you understand? Uh, I understand. So as I am calibrating... I would like for you to know, uh, I would like to ask you, uh, what percentage do you want your nervous system uh, to be synced up to the Hydra? Think of it as a percentile scale. You must have at least 10% interface uh, linkage in order to control the Hydra at all. Now, the higher you go, the quicker the Hydra will respond to your commands, and the more effective you will be in combat. However... This also means uh, this is a two-way street. It is communications. Uh, the more you s- sync up with the Hydra, uh, the more stress your body and mind will uh, be put under. Do you understand? I understand. It is. I am hardlocked to prevent more than a 90% uh, software uh, sync. But I can put it, uh, your starting synchronization anywhere between 10 and 90%. Where would you like to begin? Let's say 20%. 20% selected. Very good. Uh, so, uh, there's a little progress bar. So meanwhile, uh, yeah, Felicia, you're, you're helping Jenkins ne- negotiate with Lico Cide, uh, and Indy. Um, yeah, you see the truck, uh, uh, crash, uh, and you can see all these fucking, well, cyborg looking zombie you can't even exactly tell because you know a lot of them are silhouetted silhouetted between the fire and the spotlights uh they look mostly human uh but with lots of metal bits uh on them uh lots of heavy armor uh they they don't seem to be using any guns but they are charging people uh some it worker gets uh, sort of panics and runs into them and he gets ripped in half by one of these cyborg uh, berserkers, uh, yeah. Uh, but you know the the uh, uh, you can give me uh, you can continue to survey the battlefield because they haven't noticed you yet, um, or you could uh, take action now. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep slinking about and observing the battlefield because I feel like I don't really know what I'm striking at yet. Okay. I'm not action type. That's fair. Uh, what are these like? So we knew the leftover was coming, right? Mm-hmm. We know the, and we knew previously that the leftover has used like, not, ah, uh, God, what's the word for it? Like tactics that involved controlling lots of bodies aut- uh, autonomously, mm-hmm. but like with simplistic commands. I want to yeah. see if he's like repeating the same tactic here somehow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can notice would work. Uh, if you have another skill that would, you think would work better. Oof. Well, <laughs> I am going to spend a fate point to reroll that. Okay. Yeah, negative three would be. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right, there we go. That's going to be a three. Um, you're looking at them, and you remember like seeing parts, uh, cybernetic parts from from the body pit that you were in earlier, uh, only a few days ago. Um. And uh, you're you're guessing that, you know, the the human body parts, I mean, you don't know who those poor bastards were, but he must have just plugged in a bunch of cybernetics. And these things seem to be mindless and simple. And they're already getting hosed out like with with gunfire and uh, uh, explosives. I mean, they're unarmed. They're 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 literally just 
only equipped with like big claws and 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 basically ma- and knives and shit like that. They're not. This is not uh, uh, in. And so you realize that leftover is many things, but he's not dumb. This can't be the only uh, attack because, uh, you know, these people have machine guns and machine gun nests. So you look over and you notice on the side fence uh, away from the front gate where for away from all the attention, uh, there's a big hole in it. And uh, you see, uh, well, a lot of dark shapes moving into the, the compound. And these these shapes happen to be courier sized uh, and fear uh, sized. Uh, so. Um, yeah, it seems they are, uh, uh, the, these, these cyborg berserkers are just like fucking distractions for the, uh, another wave, uh, being let in. Um, so yeah. Has anybody else noticed? No, no one's firing on them. They're, they're in a dark, you notice all the spotlights all right. in that corner have been shot out. It is very dark. Uh, you only notice cause you were calm. You weren't fighting anybody. You weren't panicking and you were like, I'm going to look around and see what the fuck's going on. So, uh, do I got a line to Dr. Winston or whatever the fuck IT director guy's name is? Um, no, you don't. You haven't really. Only Ava did. Fuck. All right. Uh, well, you can spend a fate point to say you got that. That'd be my last one, chief. I'm not doing that just yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you could. Um, you do know that the number would be back in that tablet, back in your little uh, room. Uh, but yeah, fuck me. You, you um, can call me, and hope Felicia answers. You could just call me. <laughs> Why do you have to call? What was this phone tag thing? <laughs> well, I mean, you're a cat girl. Can you use a phone? <laughs> Yeah, your pads phone... can activate. You have okay. a group is chat. Phone... You have a is group your phone ch- off silent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna drop a, I'm gonna drop a message with a video in okay. the fucking group chat that's like bad news, <laughs> bad news, and then like smiley, uh, uh, unhappy face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, you you get. Are you gonna? Uh, so you're you're doing that. Um, Felicia, uh, uh, you get that message. What are you gonna do? Uh, well, I'm coordinating with um, like a CD, mm-hmm. so um, I mean, we're just going to use them, the goblins like cavalry event. Okay. Here's a problem. We can have the, the goblins uh, follow, solve it. Okay. Uh, so Lico CD says, uh, we, we weren't near the power plant. We can get there, but it'll take us some time to get there. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, uh, we'll, we'll do our best. New friends. Big smiley face, big smiley face. <laughs> Thanks. Birthday like cake. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to tell the, the lady in the power armor then that we have an urgent problem. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Ava, uh, you're now finally mm-hmm. synced up, and your first visual is like, it's a weird, like, vaguely 3D, um, or sort of like, it's like black and green 3D, like a, a, a like a early 80s mm. Uh, mm. Uh, sci-fi movie. Uh, but you can see a gate opening in front of you. And boy, it feels weird. You feel drunk or sort of like with vertigo. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, you that's when you see the tendril, the tentacles lashing about uh, in front of you. And you can feel them lashing about uh, and they're mm-hmm. they're they're acting on their own accord, but they're part of your body. Or they're not. Uh, yeah, you're only, you're not that. So give me one uh, will save. Uh, you just need a one. Well, I got I got good news. That's a zero. OK, so you take another mental stress. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it's not fine. It's yeah, it's it's uh, it's definitely stressful to be in there. But you can you can uh, what do you what do you 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 uh, uh, will the uh, the Hydra to go out. Uh, and yeah, mm-hmm. you can you get multiple reports and data. Uh, you kind of have a vague 3D. You 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 pulls back like you're in a third person video game, like a cover shooter. Mm-hmm. Only you mm-hmm. or like Catamaran Damacy. It actually is like you're this big spherical mass of tentacles and and hunger uh, and power, and uh, you can kind of push it in a direction. Um, so yeah, if you look at the map, uh, there is the if you scroll there, there is map, a map of the power map, plant. Map, map. Yeah, I I will find this. Yeah, uh, it's in the underpin messages. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're sort of you come out on the road, uh, and if you take a l- sharp left, you'll go straight to the front gate. 
And that will be where the main attack is happening. But uh, Felicia has told you that this, uh, the top right hey, part. Hey, um, Ava? Yeah? Yeah, so I know you're supposed to go to, like, the main gate or whatever. But, um, well, first off, what's it like being a fleshy plant tentacle plant monster? It's fucking weird. Damn, okay, you should tell your girlfriend about that. Um, you know uh-huh. the plant one that we got the boat for? But yeah. Any- so, um, one of the side, was it the side gate? Uh, yeah, so, like, the, the distractions happening at, like, the top right, like, uh, uh, where the, uh, the road, the exterior road sort of has, like, a right angle, putting left and down, uh, yeah, the very top of the map, so it's away from the front gate. Uh, yeah, hmm. so, um, there's actually a, a side thing that I think you should really be interested in, because it looks scary. Also, okay. Amy said so, and I trust what she says. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm gonna gonna try and make my way over there. Okay. Uh so that will be uh let's see here. Probably physique. Uh because that that's all you, you are is just muscles and uh an, you know, at this point it, it's yeah. So give me a physique check to see how well you're you can Translate your muscle memory into the the Hydra's uh, uh, muscles. I am gonna spend a <laughs> spend a fate point on an extremely expensive cyberware, and that brings it back up to a four. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. It turns out your your cybernetics are interfacing pretty well with the Hydra, uh, and and your your muscle. Yeah, it's a, yeah. The director put his 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 faith in you for a reason. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it is like Katarina Damacy. Um, you, you, you do veer cl- too close to someone. You're not sure what side that person, what that was. They're kind of just tiny little blips. Uh, you can't mm. really distinguish if they're a cyborg or a human or what, but you, someone got too close and the tentacles just lay into that person and you don't feel quite as hungry anymore. So, uh, mm, that's yeah, probably fine. Yeah. Uh, you don't think about it too much. Um, so, uh, meanwhile, um, uh, Indy, uh, you just hear mass, like everyone's screaming, it's coming. Everyone out you know, where you're some, someone's yelling. You can't even make that out because again, lots of gunfire, lots of noises. Um, but you can, you, you give me a will save. You see the Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's a zero. Okay. Uh yeah, that's gonna be two mental stress. You're in the ground level. <laughs> oh, Christ. Yeah. It's not good. Um so you can either um you're sort of uh if you look at the map, you're sort of between the two uh uh buildings uh near the front. So like if you see where the power stacks are, uh the 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 big smoke stacks under construction, you're like between that and the uh, large rectangular building up front. So you're on that street. And the Hydra is going in, going, sh- has chosen that street to get, uh, uh, so you need to get out of the way. Um, you can try and get in one of the buildings. You can try and not run it. Uh, and f- you can't go retreat, though. Uh, so you either have to go, you have to either scramble into one of the buildings or go towards where the big uh, uh, pack of couriers are. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, my goal is to get to the couriers. Okay, yeah. You can easily, you, you as you do so, um, the couriers see you. Um, and there's... Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, but yeah, you can invoke that shotgun for free for plus two on a shooting check. Uh, yeah. All right. So you probably want to shoot those couriers. Hey, well, that's going to be... I need to remember how to do basic math. A two. Okay. <laughs> With a two, uh, you're able to keep them at bay. Uh, they are not, you're, you're not always killing. You've kill, you kill a few, um, but you, you keep them back uh, until you hear the magazine go click. Uh, those, those are big shells. It's a big magazine, but shotgun shells are big, so you don't have many shots per magazine. They have to get out your backpack and you're frantically reloading. Um, but uh, you you don't see which magazine you put in. Um, but yeah, you uh, uh, keep them from shooting you so you can continue to maneuver. Um, knowing that the tentacle, the, the hydras behind you and the couriers are in front of you, you can sort of 
Um, find the space where you can, where it's safe for you, I guess. Uh, or what is there something else you're trying to do? Or is it at this point you're just trying to survive? At this point, okay, I mean, yes, obviously trying to survive. But uh, I'm trying to cover this fucking enormous hole in our defenses until Lycoside gets here. Okay. Uh, so you uh, maneuver up and keep shooting at them and sort of flank off to the side. You're basically hugging the uh, the fence, uh, not where it's, you know, you're, you're, you're south of where the, the hole is. Um, but you, you have a pretty good shot on it. Um, and so you're, you're continuing to, to, to fire shot, you know, throw lead down range. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Ava, give me another physique check. All right. It's a three. All right. Yeah. With a three. Um, wait, no, hang on. I'm bad at math. A uh, plus and a minus is a zero. That's a four. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. With that, uh, you're, you realize you can sort of, uh, where, where do you want to go? Um, at this point you can kind of see the hole in the fence where the, the, couriers and the ferret swarms are, are are swarming in um they're beginning you can you you're, you get these warnings oh machine gun nest four is down uh and you get a little close-up video uh as unregistered hypercam shows you um some mercenary at a machine gun being swarmed by ferrets that's happening hmm. here on the map um and so yeah you could you could either literally put the hydra in the middle of the hole and plug it or you could start trying to like chase after the biggest swarm of couriers. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna roll right into those uh right into that big pile of things. Okay, so you're chasing after them. Um uh, mm-hmm. in front of me? Yeah. Well, uh no, you're you're sort of off to the side, so you're definitely uh uh no. I'm, yeah. I'm following the things, not going into the hole in the fence. Yeah. So you start chasing after the courier swarm and they are, uh, and yeah, you start, uh, yeah, it's like Katamar Damacy. It's, uh, you're just, uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Would you like me to mm-hmm. play music for you? Uh, uh, unregistered hypercam says, uh, sure. All right. So, uh, it's just platoon music. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, with that, you're able to, to chase them down and start making a dent in it, um, and provide, some cover or like you're, you're able to push back against the attack. So let's see here. Meanwhile, Felicia, uh, Lico C day is we're, we're getting there. Um, I, I hate to, uh, uh, bad is bad news. Uh, please don't be mad at, at Lico C day. Please don't be mad at me. Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, uh, what's the bad news? There, there's two, there are more trucks coming. We are on our way, uh, swinging through the trees, but we can, there are three, uh, big, big trucks coming. There. Well, that's not good, but I'm glad you told me. Okay. Um, we will be there soon. Um, let's see. Uh, meanwhile, uh, so at this point, the, 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 uh, the director looks at you, Felicia. He's like, well, um, why don't you go out there and meet them? Uh, the, the, they'll, they'll recognize you, right? Like, you could coordinate with them in person. Why do you not want me to be in the control room so bad? No, it's not that. I just, like, they don't... Uh, the, the, the Goblin program was stop for a reason they're they're a bit skittish but if there's someone there they they know and recognize then they'll be more uh reliable but i mean if you... i'm gonna call bullshit on the let me roll a die <laughs> okay all right well but i want you to know this is a zero <laughs> yeah first off yeah but I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-roll that real quick <laughs> that is a negative four wow. yeah all right so that's that's a three all right uh you can't tell um he he has a pretty good poker face. No, I think I think I'm gonna make like I'm gonna leave the room. Okay, and then like you know like hang back and see if they do anything when they think I'm gone. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, you 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 start. Give me a stealth check then. God damn. Um, I'm gonna use my other fate point to make that a three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they. they... <laughs> hey, bad luck goes both ways. It turns out. Uh, so you are able to stay hidden. And watch them. Um, and you do see Dr. Uh, the director go over to one after you leave uh, or seeing, you know, it looks like you left. Uh, he goes over to one of the scientists and starts. Uh, this, they they whisper to each other. Um, and then he goes over and starts preparing, like goes to a computer, puts in a memory card and starts um, typing something. So 
I'm going to spend my third fate point <laughs> to activate my cat girl abilities, mm -hmm. which is part of my concept. Mm -hmm. I have sharp enough vision and good enough ears. I overheard what they said, and I see what the director's typing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you hear what well, you can't... Well, is vision... I mean, it would be night vision would work, but this is still daylight. But you definitely hear what they say. They hear you definitely. Um, so you hear... Um, I'm going to uh, insert the uh, secondary protocol. Um, that's what he says. Uh, you can actually know you can see the screen. So give me a uh, lore check to understand it, though, because it's very technical. OK, uh, that's surprisingly a three. OK, yeah. Uh, in that case, yeah, the, he's loading uh, some sort of program uh, that you recognize would be a, a type of cybernetic firmware. I, I assume that he's probably loading that to Ava, so I'm probably going to text Ava. Um, hey, Ava, I well, think um, I think they're putting some kind of intrusion on you. Well, you know they haven't done it yet. He has to plug the memory card into Ava physically, but he's getting ready to do it. So, um, all right, they haven't done it yet physically, but they're getting ready to. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Ava, give me another wheel check. This time you oh, need boy. a plus two. All right, so that's a one. All right, that's going to be another mental stress. Uh, right, I'm going to take the mild consequence. Um, uh, yeah, hmm. we'll just say uh, we'll we'll just say headache. Uh, just migraine headache, really bad migraine. Uh, because uh, yeah, a grenade slams into the side of the hydra, and you feel that. Uh, some of the mm -hmm. tentacles are shredded. Um, and it reels in pain and, um, it starts lurching towards the fence line to crawl over it. Well, to, well, batter it down and go after the thing that hurt it, uh, abandoning your position, protecting the actual power plant. So, um, yeah, you can use physique to, you know, mentally wrestle it under control, but this is going to be an opposed check against the plus four of the Hydra unless, but if you want to go up your control percentage, you could get a bonus. Remember in uh, Dagashi when Rika just kept hitting the button even though her arms and legs were coming off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What am I defending right now? Uh, it's it's going to be an opposed physique check. Uh, no, 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 no. Like, what, 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 is, what is it doing that it is abandoning its post from? Oh, it's going after the, the, the person with the grenade launcher in the tree line. So it's going to go into the forest, just chasing after someone. Okay, but what is what is it supposed to be doing? It's supposed I've, I've to be track. Oh, it's supposed to stay in the power plant, eating the couriers that are attacking ah. the base. Like basically, it's the 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 attackers are trying to kite you away from the place you're defending. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'll I'll. You're controlling. Mm. The, you're trying to control a big dumb monster. The big dumb monster doesn't like it yep. when people shoot it with grenades. So. <laughs> understandable yeah uh i am gonna i'm gonna try and hold it where it is okay so it gets a plus four uh it gets a five uh i got a four no i got a three all right well uh with your cart you aren't able to control it and it batters down the another part of the fence and starts heading into the trees Let's see here. Indy, uh, it was going well for you, especially with Ava actually fighting. All, well, the Hydra fighting. Was? Like, so, yeah, it, it was. Uh, <laughs> it was eating a bunch of the couriers. You were shooting the other couriers um, and the Ferrets. And then uh, someone launched a grenade at the Hydra and the Hydra roared, which was very scary. And then it started going <laughs> into the trees. It, it batters down the northeast part of the fence line. Uh, so now there's an even bigger opening. Um, and it is, uh, yeah, abandoning his post. So now there's a lot more couriers all of a sudden, and you're running low on ammo. If you stay where you are, uh, you're going to be overrun. You, you either have to, you either have to figure out a way to get some more firepower to shoot down the couriers, or you're going to have to abandon your position. Is it possible to abandon my position and head towards, is it possible to suss out that the reason that the fucking the big scary whatever mm -hmm. is going towards the away from the couriers was because of the shit that's shooting at it like oh, can yeah. i be like oh yeah all right cool so having sussed that out is it possible to ditch my position 
in favor of eliminating the smaller but more annoying number of enemies, i.e. the guys shooting grenades or whatever. Oh, yeah. Easily. Uh, Perfect. Give me athletics. That'll that'll. Uh, All right. Yeah. The, the couriers are trying to get in the base. If you're trying, you're trying to leave the base. So. Holy oh, shit. baby. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah. I'm on that adrenaline shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You were actually outrunning the Hydra because the Hydra had to batter down the fence, but there was already a hole in the fence. Uh, you're literally leaping on the heads of couriers and, you know, the, these bird dogs and like jumping off of them like Mario. Um, and it's good. used to run fucking track and field and play basketball before I started smoking a cart in the day. Yeah. Uh, so you get into the tree line and you can see someone with like a big uh, um, like M32 grenade launcher, one of those big like uh, uh, revolver style magazines like. Arnold had a Terminator 2. Uh, that's what he's using. Uh, and it's a cyborg. Um, and he has a smaller cyborg that is reloading another M32. So that's why he's been able to keep up a continuous rate of fire. There's just a big crate of grenades, a loader. And then this grenade is like, but yeah, he sees you because you're running so fast. Uh, and, he's, and he says, I am Septus, second commander of this art. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will seize this for the my master. I will control. I will. No one can stop me. Um. So yeah, Indy. Uh, this, some cyborg named Septus. Uh, but with your with your <laughs> incredible what role, a loser. <laughs> yeah, what a loser. So um, you get one advantage. You can get an aspect. Um, uh, yeah, you get an aspect of just a uh, 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 bull rushing them. You you you. you 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 have the surprise, uh, and you can get a plus two to a roll against them, or get some other benefit as you just jump would, through the trees, and you don't eat any of time to realize. Would plus two to the roll be equivalent to having my having swapped my ammunition for the explosive rounds? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you could spend that to to qu- quick swap to your last magazine, which are the uh, 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 explosive rounds. So yeah. Uh, that'll give you armor piercing, and uh, you'll like, negate his armor uh, because you know cyborgs have a lot of armor. Hell yeah! And uh, you'll get your plus two in your first shooting check uh, against him. So yeah, you can go ahead and shoot him. Right, that's a three. Well, wait, plus two. That's a five. Okay, yeah, with a five. Uh, let's see here. Two, two, two. boy, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is a it. Very, fuck yeah. Uh, Let's see. I mean, he is a tanky boy, but yeah, he is he is blown back uh, into the woods. I'll give you a fate point for thinking he's dead. Yeah, all right. All right. Hmm. Uh, the tiny little cyborg is there. It was loading a grenade launcher, and it just drops uh, in terror, in fear. Um, Cyborgs can be scared. Yeah, well, this guy, I mean, he's still mostly, it's, it's just this ratty-looking li- little thing, uh, humanoid. You're not even sure if it's actually human. You don't know what the hell it is. Uh, it's kind of like a Warhammer 40k looking, like minor. Can I tech. talk to it? Yeah, you can talk to it. All right. Hey, look, if you fuck off, I ain't gonna kill you. All right. Oh, thank you. Very generous. Uh, he says <laughs> in a badly synthesized voice, uh, and it just scurries off into the woods. So yeah, there's a. It drops the grenade launcher, and then yeah. So uh, let's see here, Ava. Um, you roll into the woods uh, and you see uh, the shooter get get shot. Uh, unfortunately, there's only one human sized target and the Hydra doesn't really mm-hmm. understand things like this. So, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, I'm going to here. Gonna Indy, you have another to... fate point, actually. Uh... Thank God. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to have this not happen. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, give me this is going to be another opposed physique check. Uh, I'll give you a plus right. two bonus if you uh, up your control percentage. Uh, I was going to say, right now I've rolled a three. All right, he gets a five total. All right, I'm going to spend my last fate point. All right, that will tie it. I'll say with a tie, you, you stop in time. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, Indy, the, uh, give me a will save. Uh, the Hydra's about to eat you. Me. Yeah. 
I will also spend that fate point I just got <laughs> to make that a four. Yeah, you're fine. It, it it's nothing. You're ju- you got so much adrenaline pumping in you. You don't even register that you're almost eaten by your technically your friend controlling a giant monster. By the way, yeah, the, the Hydra is about like thirty feet tall. It's not like full kite, you know, Godzilla size, but it's it's big. It's very big. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, just a big fleshy ball of tentacles just rolling around. And uh, it stops. Uh, and that's when you see the three trucks go by. So you're in the woods uh, in front of the power plant and the roads off to your side, uh, Indy. And you can see three more armored trucks running through the front gate. Um, and they have uh, uh, and there are dudes shooting out of the trucks. So this 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 uh, seems to be the final wave of the assault as uh yeah uh cyborgs with actual guns and intelligence are attacking um so meanwhile felicia the director is preparing the memory card to plug into uh ava uh what are you gonna do um like you can if you want to just say i'm gonna wait until he's about to plug it in and then do something that's fine or yeah he, so is he gonna plug it into Ava remotely? No, he's got. He actually physically has to insert the memory card into like her arm. Okay, so like when she comes back. No, she's plugged into the suit. Remember, and the suit is controlling the creature. Oh, for some reason, I thought the suit was like she was like in with the. Okay. No, no, no. It's all remote control. Like, uh, so yeah, it's not quite like Eva because she's not physically in the uh, thing. She is remote controlling it. Um, so she's still in the office. Um, uh, in in the uh, the suit, uh, but yeah, I'm assuming I'm just like standing there swaying back and forth. Oh, they have a chair. They have a, a okay. Yeah, it's like a dentist. That chair. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I think what I, what I will do is I will I will wait until um he goes to put the chip in or is like close enough and away from people, and I will attempt to um do cat girl stuff. Okay. Uh oh, it's actually like a um gaming chair, by the way. Uh, obviously. Of course. Yeah. So it's one of those like uh, razor branded. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was gonna say one of those like big powered ones with the monitors that are attached to them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 super primo. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> all right. So he's about to do that actually. Um, so he takes the memory card out. It's a little micro SD card. Uh, he starts walking over to Ava uh, and takes out the the. There's a memory card uh, plug for the uh, suit or for the arm. Uh, and he, yeah. What, what, what do you want to do? Felicia? Um, I think that internally what I think is, um, oh, I should stop him from doing this. And then I think my internal pro- cackle programming should recognize him as a serious threat and begin doing snake evisceration things. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to just kill him uh or try to yeah i think what i would like to do is like just stop him somehow from like you know like ruining ava's whole thing with whatever he's going to upload it to and i the my caco programming is, is going to attempt to fucking execute him okay uh yeah you'll get a fate point for that because that's a uh it's a the lab is full of a lot of people who are going to try and stop you and that that's very dangerous uh, so go ahead and give me uh, a fight check uh, to jump in and, uh, yeah, get his ass. I uh, get a three. Okay. Uh, with a three, uh, he's not expecting it. Uh, so he only has a physique of plus one. So he he is able to uh, absorb one point of stress. So he takes two stress. So you cut him open uh, uh, pretty badly. Uh, I am. Um... Can I use my, my stunt um, to spin that fate point I just got and, and do, um, was it two more? Yeah. Yeah. You do that. Uh, so, yeah, you can. So instead of two, it would be four stress. Uh, so, yeah, he's on the ground uh, bleeding out. Uh, he is. Uh, so there is there are some armed people in there. There's a couple of guards and uh, sign in uh, assistance. Uh, Jenkins has a gun. Um and uh yeah they uh are going to attack you so uh i'll just give them a shoot of plus three uh and well they roll like shit um so <laughs> with a negative three uh yeah 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 uh so yeah the, the lab is getting shot up 
Uh, Ava, give me another will save. Uh, suddenly your signal, uh, intense signal interference for some reason. That's a two. Okay. Uh, that is going to be one more point of uh, mental stress because they got a three. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Are you going to be knocked out? I mean, if you basically lose all your mental stress. So. Yeah. So does it happen when the last box is filled or when I can't fill another box? When you can't fill another box. All right. Well, wait, actually, no, good. Let, let, actually, let me double check. Uh, yeah, let's that's probably a good thing to look up. Yeah, that is a fair point. Uh, <laughs> <It's a> bit, <laughs> if it's if it's when I can't fill another box, I'm good. Where is it? Uh, plenty of position, action, challenges, conflicts. Yeah, I've never. Yeah, usually it's like overwhelming, like uh, like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here we go. If there's no higher available box and you can't take any consequences, if there's no available higher box and you can't take any consequences, you're taken out of the fight. So. All right. So it's one I can't fill anymore. Yeah. All so, right. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, you know, something's happening. Uh, unregistered hypercam says. I am detecting interference. Something, uh, 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 firearms have been, uh, discharged in near your physical person. Do you have cameras? Unfortunately, no. For security reasons, we cannot. Uh, if you wish to, uh, you can give the, uh, Hydra a single final command, uh, before, uh, disconnecting. All right, I'm going to send it rolling towards the road and then disconnect. <laughs> okay, so you, you, that'll be your action. Um, let's see here. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Indy, um, you get a message. Uh, well, you, you act, well, you see the trucks uh, roll up uh, and they get out and they start firing on the power plant uh, defenders. And this is this obviously was... Uh, uh, the first two waves of attackers were just to soften and distract them up for these. These are the guys that are meant to finish the job because they actually have guns. They're using tactics and they're all cyborgs. Uh, so they are a lot tankier and harder to kill than just, you know, regular people with guns. So you have no idea which way this fight is going to go. It's hard to tell. Uh, there's, 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 it's a pretty intense firefight. I, um, you, you probably the defenders are going to fight to the death because they, well, they have nowhere else to go. So, um, yeah, uh, but nobody knows you're there, uh, right now. Um, and the Hydra is, uh, moving towards the road, uh, not back towards the power plant, but like off in the direction oh. of the tower. Yeah. When I say towards the road, I, I meant towards where the trucks are. Oh, I thought you meant like the tower, uh, like the vehicle. No. Okay. 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 Um, all right. Yeah. Uh, all right, so it starts heading towards the trucks. Um, what are you going to do, Andy? I'm out of bullets, right? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, the only weapon that you have is the grenade launcher at your feet with the crate of grenades. All right, yeah. <laughs> when God gives you eleven, <laughs> I'm going to take the grenade launcher and as many grenades as I can carry, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah, you start loading it up. Uh, you empty out your backpack of AA. Well, no, your your backpack's already empty. Uh, so yeah, you just fill it up with a bunch of grenades, clank it around in there. What could go wrong? Um, so yeah, uh, that'll take you around just to load up, um, to fill your backpack up with grenades. Um, so uh, let's see here, new round. Um, Felicia, what are you going to do? Are you going to try and fight off all the people with guns in the room? Or are you going to uh, flee? Or are you, what are you going to do? Um, probably makes more sense to run away, right? Well, no, because off is in the thing. Uh, fuck. I guess I got to <laughs> fight everybody in the room. All right. Uh, give me a fight check. Let's be opposed by their shooting of plus three. Because, yeah, that's their defense. They get a five. All right. Um, well, I we have the same we have the same skill. I have the same fight as they have shoot. So mm-hmm. I I lose that one. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, that's three physical stress. Uh, as you get shot up. 
That's okay. I got cat like reflex because I'll be fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Ava, you you have uh, disconnected. Um, you you wake up. Uh, give me a will save. Oh God, damn it! All right, that's a three. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you just woke up in the middle of a gunfight, uh, and your friend nice. being shot at, and the director on the floor was, bleeding. I was expecting this. Yeah, uh, well, I wasn't expecting this, but I was like, I was braced for it. Yeah. Uh, so you can move in the suit. Um, and uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? You they, they aren't expecting you. Um, is the director dead, or is he just bleeding out? I, he's on the ground bleeding. You don't have. Uh, you'd have to go and assess him to, to determine if he is dead or not. All right. They're clearly not ready for me. Uh, is there someone I can get behind? Yeah. With a stealth? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. That's a four on stealth? Oh, yeah. No one, no one expects the person in the plug suit to uh, pull a solid snake. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and you grab Jenkins, uh, and the shooting stops, uh, because y- you don't know if it's so much as Jenkins as you're y- you, because, you know, you have the suit. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, Jenkins says, come on now, let's be cool. Let's not panic. We're, we're under attack right now. Um, and, uh, if we, if we fight e- each other, uh, we're all going to die. That I don't know who's attacking us. It's definitely not. Uh, but we, you know. So she's just kind of stammering. Uh, trying. Uh, there's there's other people in the room with guns, right? Mm-hmm. All right. I'll point to one of them. I'll tell him to drop it and make sure or, and see if he's still alive. Okay. Well, um, holding her and trying to check to see if the director's alive is... is... No, 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 no. Okay. I'm telling the person to check if the director's alive. Okay. Uh, all right. So he very slowly puts his gun down and he starts walking over to the director. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that'll be this round. Um, the Hydra... I'm also gonna... Yeah. I'm also gonna take her gun. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, you take her gun. So... The uh, Hydra starts fighting the guys in the trucks. The guys in the truck uh, start running away from it. Um, And it is... uh, They start shooting at the Hydra, which uh, your your suit is giving you a lot of warnings. Warning, damage detector, damage detector, damage detector, trauma, trauma, stress response, stress response. Um, Yeah, you're just... It's just a litany of ding, 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 warning, you know, warnings. Mm -hmm. That's me every day I wake up. Yeah. It's probably a good thing I'm not in there right now. Yeah. Uh, so, warning, uh, uh, the, the Hydra's last command is about to be overwritten by natural instinct. Um, so, uh, meanwhile, Indy, um, yeah, uh, you uh, can see the cyborgs are uh, scattering, and the, the Hydra is freaking out. Uh, it grabs one of the cyborgs and rips it apart. Uh, rather messily, uh, and I think Mortal Kombat fatality. No. Jesus, yeah, it, yeah, it's pretty, pretty scary. Uh, so, uh, your friends are at the other end of the power plant. Uh, but the, uh, yeah, you can give me a notice check. Zero. All right. Well, you know what you know. Great. So, I guess I'm gonna start going like back to the girls then because mm-hmm. i don't really want to get in the way of the hydras i you know i thought it would need backup or something but it, it looks like it's got it under control i don't want to get involved in that situation so back to the control room all right uh do you want to run or do you want to sneak a sneak i'm not fucking I'm not <laughs> sounding the alarms on that thing <laughs> fuck that oh. all right give me a stealth check then that's a four. Oh yeah, you're fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, nobody's really paying attention to you. Uh, you're taking a long way around. You know, sort of hugging the outer fence line. Um, but yeah, there's it's just utter chaos. Everyone's shooting at everything: couriers, ferrets, cyborgs, uh, mercenaries, IT guys. Like it's <laughs> fucking wild. Um, 
yeah, uh, a couple ad zombies uh, going crazy. You see another ad zombie just scooping up brains from a corpse uh, and just kind of probably fine. Yeah. Uh, shoving it inside of itself. Um, yeah. Uh, it looks at you. Uh, it, it does notice you, but it just smears blood over its LCD smiley face and doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's having fun. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, probably Claire and Bowie and, uh, Choppy are, are at your quarters, uh, mm-hmm. barricaded up, you're guessing. So, um, yeah, I'll take you a bit of time. So, uh, the nice part about Choppy is he does kind of double as a barricade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, and you do have a vehicle, uh, nearby the truck that you drove originally. Uh, so, yeah, you could use that to get away. Um, assuming you can get around the Hydra in the near the front gate. Uh, well, we've also got a boat. Oh yeah, you could go back to the boat. That's true. Yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, so the um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, the uh, Felicia and uh, Ava, uh, Mexican standoff in the room everyone's pointing guns at each other well except for you felicia mm-hmm. but you're pointing your claws i imagine yeah yeah can i have a fate point if the director is absolutely definitely dead uh yes definitely absolutely Perfect. yeah uh you get a fate point the guy uh that you ordered to check on him says he's dead and uh yeah you boy will- i'm sure glad that i'm gonna get back to the control room and everything's gonna be okay yep <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the, you, you both believe, uh, well, Felicia, you believe the director's dead. Uh, Ava, the guy says he's dead. Um, you can have a fate point for believing he's dead, or you can, uh, make an opposed. I'll take a fate point for believing he's dead. All right. Yeah. Definitely dead. All right. Well, Jenkins, it looks like you're in charge now. So how's this going to go? Um, look, just. Low, low, lower your weapons. We'll work something out. Um, look, we we can just this assault is it. it I mean, I I don't know how it's going, but it's the fact that they haven't breached in here means it's probably we're probably going to win it. Um, they probably weren't expecting the Hydra to be deployed. Uh, so we uh, we just move up the timetable. We march now, and we we just got to get that Hydra on on the tower. And uh, we have not all of our forces are here at the plant. We already had some advanced elements in the woods waiting for us. So um, we, we we're still viable. All right. Like this, this weekend's mm-hmm. up. So just uh, lower the gun. You know, I can get you some money now. And uh, just you just got to get the Hydra at the tower. That's all you got to do. And then you're free. Fine. It's just. You know, the director was uh, a control freak. I'm not. Mm hmm. All right. I'll I will let go of her and I will point the gun away from her. But I still have it ready. OK, they the guards, everyone lowers their guns uh, very cautiously. Uh, Lydia or sorry. Um, not <laughs> Indy. Um you get back to the, 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 the plant or at the, the, the control room about this time, uh, as, as you burst in holding your grenade launcher, just covered in dirt and blood. Um, and, uh, yeah. And sweat. And, uh, yeah, you can see every, the directions of the ground, you know, bloody, um, the, the I'm j- gone for five minutes. <laughs> Look, sometimes, sometimes My shit defense, happens. You know how it is with spaghetti. Well, I think we're going to listen to me because I got the grenade launcher and whatever I say goes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Look, look, we just just um, it, the, just the get the Hydra in the truck, in the vehicle, and we'll 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 we'll, we'll drive it there. And then um, it, it, you, 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 you do have to go to the front line The control. The range of the, the control suit isn't that far, isn't that long. Um, so you have to be pretty close to the Hydra to control it. And then, uh, yeah, you just, just get the, you just gotta get the monsters to attack the tower. That's it. That's 
Do they got to do? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Just get the monster to attack the tower. Uh, but you know, one thing, just one tiny little thing. He's he looks pretty fucking dead, right there. Yeah, I'm. Mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he made. A uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, listen, let's breathe. Just breathe. All right. This is your first time seeing a dead body. No. We'll get used to it. No, no, no. Okay, okay great. Take a breath, get off your fucking, you know, at stimulants or whatever, take some water. Just, like, listen to what I'm saying here. He's dead. Can you cut us a check if we do our job? Yes. You sure? Yeah. I did all the, the, the day-to-day things of running this thing. He was just, he was part of the old boys network, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, we... We follow through on our end, despite this little accident, and, you know, really no one's at fault here. I'm sure he had it coming. So, we do our job, and you pay us, and then we both fucking split, and we never seen each other again, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great. That is what I want to hear. What's your name? Jenkins. 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 All right. Why don't you come here? Come here. Let's shake hands, all right? Okay. Yeah. Shaking hands. All right, Jenkins, look, we're going to make this work, all right? You got to believe in me, okay? Mm-hmm. We're going to make this work. We're going to... God, he's bleeding a lot. We're going to get rid of the body. Yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll yeah, you, you two get, get his body out of here. Uh, yeah, two guards go and pick him up. Carry him out of there. Where's that drive? Uh, the, well, it was a memory card, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, give me a notice check to, to find it. A lot of people were stepping around and, you know, might have, uh, All right. That's a zero. So yeah. I'm going to stop them before they take his body out and ask them, where is that dry or where is that memory card? Um, uh, ooh. uh, I fantastic. Mean, yeah. Felicia, you did see it, like, fall out of his hands. It fell on the ground. So. Oh, well, I don't have enough notice. You know what? For funsies, let me roll a notice <laughs> to see. I mean, no, see, like, it wasn't notice to see it fall out of his hands, because you're the one who, like, you know. Well, yeah, I'm, let, me just, let me just see if I can spot it real quick. I get a negative two. What does that tell me? It tells you it's uh, probably got kicked under a table, or maybe it's stuck to someone's shoe. It's, it's micro SD cars, very tiny. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, you know places. Mm-hmm. God damn it! <laughs> All right, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so they take his body out of the room, uh, and yeah, the uh, Jenkins swears she can get you the money. She'll give you each a million dollars now. Uh, in fact, she she has a gives each of you a a, a piece of paper. It's a Swiss bank account number, and that's a PIN number uh, to verify identity. It's e- each made in, and there's a name on there. That's the name. I, I had to give a name, all right? Uh, but that that's the mm. name you can use by. They don't check ID with the PIN number and the name and the bank account number. You can transfer a million, you know, uh, into whatever other bank account you want whenever you want, all right? That's the name of the bank. That's this website. It's a million dollars on that piece of paper for each of you. Okay. Is that what we were promised originally? Uh, well, that's a down payment. The, the, the other 9 million will be transferred to that account after. All right. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Jenkins. That's what I love to see. You're a real go getter. You know, I can't imagine why he was in charge and why you, why you was uh, stuck pushing pencils. You really should have been the one doing all the, you know, lifting around here. Well, some people don't know when they're dying. The dinosaurs don't know that they're, you know, uh, they, 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 glass ceiling and all that. All right. Well, yeah, right. yeah of course. So we're going to get all set up here, everything. And you ain't going to fuck us whenever we turn our backs. No, no. Just get the monster to attack the tower. It's all you need to do. All right. We'll, we'll just. Perfect. Yeah. All right. We're going to get the monster to attack the tower. Ain't that right, Ava? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, uh, but you start getting a bunch of texts. Um, All right, I'll check my phone. It's Lico C Day. Uh, we attack cyborgs, right? We already did. I hope that was okay. 
Yeah, so that's fine. Okay. Cyborgs, cyborgs are bad. Okay, we already did that. Uh, we told them we were on. Can you tell the the other people, the humans with the guns, that we were okay? Yeah. Okay. Hey, can you tell them that the uh, goblins, goblins are fine? Oh, thank God that came through. Oh, thank God. Um, yes, yes. Uh, she she gets on the phone and uh, starts. Sounds like with the goblins coming in at the at la- the last minute, that was enough to put the in and the Hydra uh, disrupting their formation. Uh, that was enough to wipe out the final wave of the attack. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, it looks like you 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 repulse the attack. Um, uh, and and the the cyborg, yeah, whatever. You don't know why the leftover attacked you, but um, you know um, he he lost. Uh, you, you survived, and mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, so, uh, you you head back out. Um, and he sent his best and most important and competent warrior Septimus. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, you definitely won't see him again. Uh, he's definitely he's definitely gone. was not a distraction. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, the uh, uh, it looks like they're moving up the timetable to the attack to be right now. So they go, they they uh, uh, start trying to. So uh, yeah, Ava, you'll you'll have to actually go back in uh, and uh, control the uh, Hydra uh, to get it into the vehicle because uh, they got to attack now uh, while they still possibly have some sort of element of surprise. Because hopefully the people on the other on the tower don't know what the fuck just happened. And, uh, yeah, but they can't, they can't wait any longer. They got to go before all the mercenaries and everyone else loses any (laughs) hope of, uh, yeah. Uh, so everyone's mounting up. Uh, but yeah, when you, when you step out of the, the holding facility, um, is utter, just, just carnage and devastation. Some of the buildings are on fire. Um, yeah. And, uh, that's when the entire Island loses power from the power plant. Um, Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, of course, the VIP tower has backup generators, but yeah. Uh, so uh, I think that's a, a good place to stop. Uh, as uh, you 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 head off to war, um, and uh, we'll find out what happens uh, as you uh, launch the assault on the tower. And uh, well, you know what all the other well, you don't know what the leftover is going to be planning. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So questions, comments, uh, everybody have fun. <laughs> yes. That was yeah. great. Yeah. That went to shit. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. In the next session, we possibly the finale. We'll find out, uh, as dawn breaks on the fifth day, uh, of this <laughs> chaos, uh, as possibly the last day of chaos on going track Island. Um, as the, as the, as the assault on the VIP tower begins, we'll talk so, to you. So, uh, stress clears it, uh, yes, at the end of a session, break, right? The end of a session. Yes. You, you'll have a full stress back at the beginning of the session. <sighs> yeah. You got fucked. Yeah. Yeah. It turns out controlling a giant monster is, uh, stressful, weirdly enough. Um, gonna, wow. Just, just going to move Will up on my uh, pyramid. Oh, yeah. So for this last session, everybody will get a significant milestone. You get to improve your stuff one more time. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you get a major milestone. Page 260 of Fate Core. Uh, so you'll get a skill point. Uh, and, uh, an extra point of refresh. So. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, so enjoy it. So, uh, we'll find out what happens next time, uh, in Cointract Island. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.